Hi, today I'll share a recipe from Chettinad. Mutton sukka is a spicy dish which I'll be sharing today. In a cooker, add 1 tablespoon of gingerly oil, allow it to heat. After that, add 2 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Now add 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder and sort it well. Now add half kg of boneless mutton pieces and then add 100 ml of water into it. Allow it to boil. Add some salt. Now boil it by leaving it for 4 whistles. After that our mutton will be boiled well. Now let's make a dry spice powder which is really important for chettina mutton sukkah. For that in a pan add 1 tablespoon of cumin seeds, 1 tablespoon of peppercorns and then add 1, one to 2 tablespoon of fennel seeds and about 2 inches of cinnamon. Now roast it in a dry pan. Roast it for about 2 to 3 minutes. Now add 3 dry chilies, dry red chilies. If you don't want too spicy, you can add just 2 red chilies. After that, grind it to a fine powder. Now in another pan add 2 tablespoon of gingerly oil. Into that add 2 strands of curry leaves. This will give you a nice aroma. Now add one onion which I have chopped finely. You can also add shallots which is nothing but small onions. Now allow the onion to change its color to golden brown. At this stage add 1 teaspoon of chilli powder, it will get a nice red color and will give you a nice color to your gravy also. If you want to avoid spice you can skip this. Now add 1 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and sort it well. At this stage add the roasted dry spice that we have powdered into the gravy and sort it well and cook this for about 2 to 3 minutes. See how colorful the gravy has turned and allow this to cook for about a minute and then add the boiled mutton that we have boiled before. Mix it well. At this stage keep the flame at high 
allow the gravy to boil once it has boiled well keep it in the medium flame You can see the gravy has started releasing oil in the sides. Keep mixing and now cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes. Mutton suka is a dry gravy, so you can reduce the water and make it dry still. Our mutton suka is almost done. Now add some chopped coriander leaves. And our spicy mutton suka is ready to serve. You can eat mutton suka with plain rice with chapati. This will be really very yummy, this is very spicy and so delicious. Each bite is filled with tons of flavors and I love chetina dishes very much and especially this dish you have to try definitely and enjoy. I will see you all in my next recipe.